All right, gang, today's Thursday. Welcome. So I'm gonna go over the clean and jerk complex. Everyone's gonna warm up to it with either a PVC pipe or empty barbell. And then depending on what your coach says during the session, we might get you down to kettlebell to work on athletic hip and, at, hip and knee extension, or we might continue to work at the weight on the barbell, okay? Totally up to you and the trainer, you'll have that conversation. But first, this is what the complex is gonna look like tomorrow. High hang into low hang into touch and go clean into a jerk. All right, couple components. High hang for today's purposes is just above the knee. Low hang for today's purposes is below the knee, but above the ground. And then the touch and go, we're tapping the ground from the ground clean. So you got three cleans. These can be squat clean, but because of all the squats this week, I don't mind if you power clean them. Then the jerk. Yesterday we worked on push jerks and the split jerks. Whichever jerk you're stronger in, let's do it, okay? Because after three cleans, you're gonna be tired. Let's get it overhead and then place it on the ground. You've got four sets that are increasing in weight, okay? Every other question you have, let's talk to your trainer about it during the session. If we want to work more on the uh, hip and knee extension of weightlifting, we're going to do kettlebell swings. You're going to start with two sets of 20 Russian swings. A Russian swing is just to eye level, so it's going to look like this. Okay, at whatever weight, so you feel it in the posterior chain, which is going to be your hamstrings, your glutes, and your erectors, primarily. Okay, after the Russian swings, you're going to do 40 reps or two sets of 20. Then you're going into two sets of 20 American swings. It's gonna look like this. Directly overhead. Okay, that'll simulate more of the jerk component of the clean and jerk complex today. So first we're working on the lower body with the Russian swings, then we're focusing on the whole body as if it were a clean and jerk or kind of like a snatch, all right? Um, then we've got, then we go into the workout. Tomorrow's workout is an AMRAP, meaning as many reps as possible for 13 minutes of power cleans and pull-ups. This is a descending, then an ascending rep scheme. The goal is to finish one full round, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, all the way down to one. If you reach that, then you're gonna start to climb back up. So you're gonna repeat one twice. So three, two, one, one, two, three, four, and keep going up, all right? Power cleans are just gonna look like this. Okay. It should be heavy enough that these are fast singles. There is no reason why this should be 10 reps unbroken, okay? It should be a moderate to heavy weight, all right? Then we're gonna go into the strict pull-ups. Some of you are doing pull-ups, some of you are doing chin-ups, some of you are doing ring rows, and some of you are doing standing pull-ups. A standing pull-up or jumping chin-up is the following standard. If the pull-up bar's here, I need my thumb on my head and my pinky on the pull-up bar, okay? With that distance, okay, if I need to put some bumper plates on the ground and stand on them, that's what I want you to do to be able to match that standard. And then we're hitting the standards of a pull-up, okay? Which is all the way down until my arms are extended, then I jump up so my chin goes above the bar. Sorry, I misspoke. That's true of the jumping chin up. For the standing pull up, we want our eyes level with the pull up bar. Okay, I believe this is the white level for tomorrow's workout. So if my eyes are level with the pull up bar, I'm gonna squat down until my arms are extended, and then I'm gonna do a little hop so my chin goes above the bar. Okay, that should simulate the, um, the lats and the biceps in the pull up, because instead of standing up from a squat, I want you to use as much arms as you can during it. If you have any additional questions, talk to your coach about it. The straight-legged ring rows is if the rings are standing here, I'm gonna put my feet right underneath it. Then I keep my legs straight as I fall back, and that's gonna be the standard with the rings at the hips. If you have any additional questions, um, obviously post uh, down below in the comments, and one of the coaches will get to it as soon as possible, if not me. And uh, let's get after it. Another day to get fitter.